So today we have sunlight, pretty cool, brings the spirits up and makes me happy. Welcome to episode number 13. In this episode, we're gonna be doing a flip book. That's right. So you guys here, I bought some gear, but most importantly, I have, let me see if I can actually take it out. And we're going to be doing some animation on this. In episode number six, when I talk about the top five books you should be reading, I actually mention about a delivery that I had. The company was called Molecularis, and they actually did this thing called Flipboku. And on this, I actually ordered an extra blank flipbook that I can then use to animate. And I asked you guys, would you guys be interested in that? And if I should go ahead and do it. So, a uh, little secret, I actually never tried to do a flipbook. So this will be my first flipbook. I might do an episode about it. I don't know. Uh, should I? Uh, let me know in the comments if you think that uh, I should. And your guys' answer was a resound yes, we should do it. So here I am many episodes later, doing this. So I wanna dedicate this episode to my adoptive father, uh, for a lack of a better word, this, this guy called Carlos, that uh, kinda helped me become the artist that I am nowadays. My life story is complicated. I wasn't raised with my parents around and I was always uh, looking for that mother and father around me and Carlos was definitely that person for me. He inspired me a lot. He, he taught me a lot about art. He was an amazing artist. And most importantly, every single time I would ask him to do a flip book for me, he would just like take out a small pad that he had and just do a quick animation. And I remember how magical it was to actually flip the pages and see the animation happening in front of me. I mean, being a five year old and seeing that stuff happening, to me, that was magic. It was definitely the first introduction that I got to animation, even before movies. So Carlos was a big influence to me when it comes to art, drawing, animation. And I want to dedicate this whole episode to him because without him, I wouldn't be here. And I feel nostalgic to actually be doing a flipbook because since I've become an animator, I never have done a flipbook. So this is a first and you guys get to witness this journey with me at the same time. It's going to be most likely very horrible, but at least you guys get to have fun, see me fail, and doing this in a weird way. <laughs> so don't expect awesomeness, expect me struggling through this. At the moment, it's completely blank, just so you can see, there's nothing here at all. So I'm doing this, recording this video, before I start the process. So come with me in this journey to create my very first flipbook. First step that I need to do is get the materials. So Carlos used to always make the same flip book, which I always asked him to, which was basically this hammer. And the hammer with a nail, and this guy would put the nail on the table or the surface, and he will actually hammer the nail maybe two or three times, and eventually the nail will break. That will be the end of the animation. Till this day, he brings a smile to just think about that animation. I feel like I need to replicate it in order to honor Carlos. So I'm gonna take some reference of me with a hammer and a nail, get some stuff going, maybe some reference. I don't know exactly how it's gonna come out, but hopefully I can get something that I will then use as the main reference. Let's do it. Now that we have some reference of me shooting some stuff, let's take it into Photoshop and get some keyframes out of all this video. I think it's very essential for me because I need to clarify in my mind exactly what I need to do in order to actually kind of not mess it up. Because I only have one of these and that's all I get to do. So let's do it. 
so I'm here um, with pen in hand trying to show you guys a little bit of what goes on I will kind of show you how I go through every drawing and uh, this will give you like maybe an update view about what I'm doing uh, it might actually get dark it's sunny outside so it's gonna look looks really good now but in a little bit it might will look a little weird let's do this Play that real live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have no light table, so I can see through the papers. I have to have some kind of light table, so I had to make my own by using my phone. And uh, on my phone, I actually have like, I just downloaded a white image and I put it in. And now you can see here that basically just a white table with um, a white background. And I'm gonna leave my phone like this. And then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the sheet of paper on top of this and you'll see it in a second and then you'll be able to be able to actually see it use it as a white table so hopefully it will work out let's find out box that I told you guys that I was going to use on my phone unfortunately didn't work so well I've tried using it but it's not light enough so what I've done is use my flashlight instead this thing here actually is very bright so as you can see on my face so what I'm gonna do now is actually kind of I use it on the table you guys are gonna see it but obviously I cannot draw on top of this so I'm gonna use <laughs> I looked in the house for different things that I could draw on top and the only thing that I could find was this old trusty food box that I found. I'm gonna use the light and then I'm gonna put it inside and I'm gonna draw on top of it. It's a bit weird, but hey, it serves a purpose. I tried it and it works. So if this flip book comes out nice, you guys know that it wasn't easy. <laughs> Let's do it.
flip it, the more I find it difficult to draw for a long time. So I have to find a way to keep these together, stuck together. My uh, fiance, she had these uh, tweezers things. And uh, basically you just kind of like, I keep it this way and then I draw on top. It really helps. It really helps to kind of uh, keep things organized. A bit of a contraption, but uh, it's working well. As you can see, it's been a few days. You can see my beard a little bit here. But, uh, but yeah, still having a lot of fun. So nearly half of this is now uh, full of drawings. I didn't really manage to actually get the uh, hammer uh, to kind of just like break the nail like the reference unfortunately. The way I'm working right now with the tools that I have is not really ideal, it's not optimal and I feel like since it's been like a week and a half I have to stop it here and then continue maybe in a later episode. So I'm really fatigued as you can see by my face and just not a good look. And I will stop it here, and I hope you guys don't mind, but um, I think I will continue this at a later point once I have a proper light table. But this, all this is lessons that I've learned and definitely mistakes that I'll try not to make next time. But as I mentioned in the beginning, this, it was only a test. So you have experienced this with me, and now let's move on to something else. When I started doing this, it was brand new, completely white, as you guys saw. But now, as you can see, it's all mangled. <laughs> and it was an experience for me. I actually really enjoyed it, even though it was really, really tough and I had to leave it halfway done. I managed to fill this much in uh, just a week and a half. So maybe another week and a half will be enough to actually fill the rest. But as I mentioned from the beginning, I wanted to actually make this a journey through memory lane for me, because of Carlos, because of how he used to do these flip books for me. And um, what's interesting is that the more I actually was drawing it, the more I was actually relieving those memories. It's really funny because when I was drawing the hammer, when I was drawing the hand, when I was drawing the nail, I could actually visualize how he used to do it. He just brought back memories that I'm really fond of and it was great and I'm really happy I did this. Um, I showed it to my daughter, she was really curious throughout the whole process. It was almost like I could see myself in her. 
uh, being amazed by this flipping magic that is flipbox. I'm slightly um, disappointed a little bit that I didn't really get to do all the reference that I had. I think uh, this amount of pages would have been perfect. Uh, maybe we can leave it for a later episode. And uh, this has been an experience. That was basically what I set out to do from the beginning, was to actually learn. So the lessons that I'll learn perhaps is that I need to get a bigger flipbook. Uh, flipping this small flipbook, it's complicated. I feel like, uh, like sometimes it just skips quite a bit. Um, even after kind of a flexing it in a way that I could actually kind of a work with it. Uh, this is why it's like all bent. So I could actually kind of flip the pages easier. Even then, I found it really difficult to do it. So I had to do it in chunks. So I used to flip just a few pages, then go to another one. I'm glad that we both, you the viewers and I, went to this journey together. But most importantly, I would like to actually show you guys something that actually is flipbook related. And you guys have been seeing it, but I haven't really shown you guys. And that is the Nine All Men, the flipbooks made by Disney. This is really well done and is a source of amazing inspiration. Let me show you how good it is. When I bought it on Amazon, I felt like it was gonna be tiny, but it's actually quite a big box. I recommend you guys buying it. I'll leave a link down below where you can get it inside of this. You have nine flip books, one for each of the nine old men. If you don't know who they are, you should definitely look them up because they are the ones that created all the rules of animation that we know nowadays and basically set up the standards for animation as we know it. So Google them. Just so you can see as an example, let's take Milt Call. You can see the picture of Milt Call on the back and then you can see where the animation was taken from. So in this case, the one-on-one -on -one Dalmatians and then the drawings and you even have the pegs for the pages here, which I think adds a lot of character. Just like the flip book that we just worked on, if you actually kind of uh, grab the pages here, I hope you can see it with a light. You can actually flip through them and really makes you admire all the hard work that they put on, on every single drawing. Especially after me going through this journey, um, it's incredible how detailed and how precise the animations were for every single movie they worked on. So I highly recommend you guys getting this. It's, it's really well done. It's not cheap but it's something that I think he serves as inspiration for you guys. Whenever you feel like you need a little bit of uh, inspiration on animation because it's all too hard or it's all too difficult, flipping through one of these actually helps a lot. Well, it helps me a lot. So when you flip through them, you realize that the work that they did was so much harder than anything we do nowadays because they did it by hand and they did it with no help of any buttons or any CG or any software or any copy and paste. Everything was made by hand. I highly suggest you all go through and either buy a flipbook or make a flipbook of your own and try something like this because it will give you a whole new understanding about animation. So thank you very much once again for coming in this journey with me. We have now crossed the 1000 subscriber mark it actually happened as I was doing this episode <laughs> and I'm really chuffed like super happy about this because as I've been promising for the last two or three episodes as I worked on things and if I can I will start streaming it so you guys can actually kind of have some input and feedback and so we can hang out in general just have a chat thank you very much for subscribing Please continue spreading the word. Thank you very much for the support. Make sure you'll give a like to this video if you liked it. If you didn't, give a dislike. It's all good. Make sure if you're new to the channel, leave a comment, uh, say hi. I reply to all comments. I take pride in that. And please introduce yourself. See you guys next week. I hope you guys have a great week. And until then, stay safe, stay well. Peace.